All right, let's get into this last problem here and let's really see again how we can apply unit conversions to these problems here. So how much would it cost to purchase two feet of steel wire? So two feet of steel wire, if it costs 25 cents per inch. Ah, so look right here, immediately my party people, if we want the cost and the cost is 25 cents per inch, here's what this means. We want total cost. We want total cost. And what that means is if we have 25 cents per inch, what this means here is means multiply by the inches. And really quick before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons, you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online, and lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety, there's no pressure, because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more, so take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description, to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. But the problem is what, my party people? Do we have the number of inches? Do we have the number of inches? No, we do not. We have two feet. So can you please tell me, what do we need to do? Right, we just have to convert. We just have to convert. And so this is that moment that I'm going to bring everything full circle for a second. Do you remember how in the beginning of class I told you that unit conversion word problems are really just regular word problems with one extra step? Is that starting to make sense to you now? Is that starting to make sense? Like that's truly what it was. Like if you had the number of inches, that'd be a quick multiplication problem. That'd be 0.25 times the number of inches and you're done but it just so happened to be that they gave you a different unit and all you have to do is convert and that's it that's all you have to do kira i'm glad you're having fun and so with that let's go ahead and convert and have a good time two feet should be a pretty easy conversion you might not have to think about that how many inches is 24 feet or two feet everybody 24 right? i gave it away myself <laughs> yeah so that would be 24 inches that's two feet so that's right that's super easy and so boom two feet that equals 24 inches. We should be able to do that fairly quickly in our heads. And so bam, so times inches, that's so times 24 inches. And so you're done, 0 0.25 times 24. Another way that you could look at this is like this, everybody. Isn't 25 cents one quarter, everybody? Isn't that a quarter? Yeah, and so multiplying by 0.25 is the same thing as dividing by four. 24 divided by four is six, and the answer is six dollars, and you're done. But if you didn't know that, we can go ahead and do the math here. It's all good. No need to be in a rush. Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free, so go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. Five times four is 20, two times four is eight, carry the two is 10. Next, bring a zero down. Then we have five times two is 10, two times two is four, carry the one is five. Add these together and we have zero, zero, six. And then how many decimal places are we supposed to bring back everybody? Two, two decimal places, one, two, one, two, and we have $6 for the steel wire. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, 
where you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.